What is meant by wave function? Well, think about throwing a small ball at a wall that has two small holes in it. Before we throw the ball we have no idea where it will hit or land exactly. It might pass through one of the two holes, or it might strike the wall and deflect away. However, in classical physics, you can anticipate a ball's trajectory and landing spot based on its starting speed, angle, and other variables when you throw it. Now, unlike the ball, things are different in the quantum world of subatomic particles. They behave more like waves of possibilities, so when they are in motion, we can't precisely anticipate their exact path. When scientists emit subatomic particles during experimentation, they have no idea exactly where the particles will end up. So, instead of knowing exactly where these tiny particles will go, they use something called the wave function, which describes the probabilities of where the particles may actually end up going. In other words, where they can be found. It is important to note, though, that quantum mechanics uses the wave function as a mathematical tool to explain how these particles behave. It is a complex equation that provides probabilities of finding a particle in various locations, or with various characteristics, such as momentum or energy, when we conduct a measurement. Think of the wave function as being similar to a probability wave or chance wave. Without observation or measurement, small particles like electrons lack a fixed position or state. Instead, the wave function depicts every potential location, or state, that they could be in, sort of like a dispersed wave of potential. Although the wave function is only a mathematical probability, it demonstrates as a wave. It may disperse, round itself, and even arrange itself in patterns of light and darkness. What's remarkable is that this probability wave can act in a manner reminiscent of how waves in water actually behave. In water, overlapping waves can produce patterns of high and low points. This is similar to how probability waves of particles can form patterns of higher or lower probabilities of locating the particle at various locations when they overlap. This is referred to as wave-like behavior or quantum interference. It implies that the overlapping waves of possibility might either increase or cancel out the likelihood of detecting a particle at specific locations. As a result, patterns are developed showing where the particle is more and less likely to be detected. This means that the wave function itself behaves like a wave, propagating and interacting with other waves of possibility. One of the explanations for why the quantum world operates differently from the familiar world of ordinary objects is this peculiar and perplexing aspect of quantum mechanics. However, we must keep in mind that the wave function is a mathematical equation that calculates the likelihood that a particle would be found in various positions or states. It is a method for predicting and comprehending how subatomic particles, like electrons or photons, behave in the quantum environment. You could compare wave function to stating something like this there's a higher chance of finding the particle here, and a lower chance of finding it over there. Before being measured, a particle's behavior is characterized by its wave function, which is a superposition state. So, what superposition basically means is, that it appears as though the particles are simultaneously existing in a number of possible states, or locations, at the exact same time. However, Something intriguing occurs when we observe or take measurements of the particles. The wave function seems to collapse into one particular observable state rather than being in a superposition of many states. In other words, the collapse of the wave function into a single observable state seems to happen purposefully and in a way that the particles want to manifest themselves to the observer. In summary, the wave function in quantum mechanics displays specific wave-like behaviors that are specific to the quantum environment, such as interference and diffraction patterns. When particles are not being observed or measured, these behaviors are seen, and their wave functions spread out 
to depict the probability of various positions or states.